Hi, my name is Linda Renfrew. I'm a consultant physiotherapist in multiple sclerosis and I work in Ayrshire. I'm the lead researcher in a um, study that's taking part across Scotland at the moment, comparing two treatments for foot drop in MS. Foot drop's a common problem in MS and it occurs because of weakness around the foot and the ankle, often causing people to trip, which can result in falls. This, in return, can um, mean that people are less confident with their walking, become less physically active, and can impact on what people are able to do on a day-to-day -day basis. We're comparing two treatments for foot drop, functional electrical stimulation, or FES, and ankle foot orthosis, or EFO. The FES is set up on Anna, and the electrodes which we see here are like sticky pads which stimulate the nerve at the side of the leg and this sends a message to the muscle to help to lift the foot up. There's a pressure switch in the heel of the shoe which times the stimulation to come on when the foot is off the ground during walking. The AFO is a plastic splint which holds the foot at 90 degrees, clearing the foot during walking. In our study, the EFO is custom made by our orthotist, which means it is designed specifically to fit the leg and it's also fitted and altered if needed. Both treatments have been found to improve walking. However, there hasn't been a study in MS which has compared the effectiveness of both these treatments. At the moment, decisions around treatments for use for people with MS are guided by the clinician's skills and access to equipment. The research should help with guiding clinicians to make sure people with MS who have foot drop get the right treatment for them. Hi, I'm Anna. And I'm Rebecca, and we're both physiotherapists on the trial. Before anybody takes part in the trial, they will be given an information leaflet to read through. And if they have any further questions, they can ask any of us at any time. The first appointment is the screening appointment, and it is at this point that we see if the person is eligible to take part. We're based in Douglas Grant Rehabilitation Unit in Irvine, Ayrshire. However, we're able to see people either in Glasgow Caledonian University and King's Cross Hospital in Dundee if either of these venues are nearer to where the person lives. At the screening appointment, one of us will check the person's movement, strength and sensation in their arms and legs. We'll also check their balance and eyesight. It's like a full MOT. We'll ask the person to walk for five minutes and we'll look to see if they've got a foot drop during this walk. Anyone using a walking aid is invited to use it during this five minute walk. The five minute walk is the most strenuous part of the study. If the person is suitable for the study, they will be randomised to receive one of either of the treatments. It is really important to make a random decision around which treatment the person receives, as this strengthens the quality of our research. The next appointments will involve setting up the treatments and then the assessments begin. Anna will set up the FES in one session. For the people in the AFO group, there are two appointments around two to four weeks apart. One to measure for the AFO and one to make sure it fits okay. Each assessment lasts around one and a half hours and there are four assessment appointments over the course of a year. At these appointments, we will assess walking with and without the device, initially for a short walk 25 feet and then for five minutes with a rest in between of course. During the longer walk the individual wears a mask over their face, a heart rate monitor and a lightweight backpack which holds a machine which will analyse the amount of oxygen used during walking. We also tape a small monitor onto the thigh. This is worn for seven days. The monitor measures how much time is spent sitting, standing and walking and also how many steps are taken over the seven days. It doesn't give any more detail than this and it definitely doesn't have GPS. There are a few questionnaires completed at each session and these help to give a picture of any changes in mood and confidence in balance, walking and other daily activities. At the end of the study we are interviewing around 20 people to ask their views on using the equipment and how it has impacted on aspects of their lives. We are also comparing the cost of the two treatments, not just in terms of the equipment itself, but also looking at whether using one treatment compared to the other might mean that you would need other services, 
such as physiotherapy or visits to your GP less than the other group. We need to recruit 84 people with MS for our study to have enough people to detect any differences between the two groups. To date, 64 people across a number of health boards, including Ayrshire and Arran, Dumfries and Galloway, Fife, Greater Glasgow and Clyde, Lanarkshire, Lothian and Tayside are taking part in the study and around 20 people have now completed the study. We hope you've enjoyed our introduction to the MS Foot Drop study and if you'd like some more information please don't hesitate to contact any member of our team on 01294 323057 or you can email me at linda.renfrew at aapct.scot.nhs.uk Thank you.